guys and welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago I posted a video on the top things I love to buy from the Dollar Tree so I figured it was only in good fashion I make a follow-up video sharing the top things I would not buy from the Dollar Tree under any circumstances and recommend that you do the same. If you also make Dollar Tree or haul type videos and you have things you can add to this list please do so in the comment section down below. But without any further ado here are the things I would not ever 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 buy from the Dollar Tree. Number one is something that I have had issues with in the past. It is batteries. I would go and buy batteries from the Dollar Tree and expect them to last, you know, a little while and then within like seven to ten days they were dead. And I wasn't using them all the time. It was for like remotes and whatnot. And then I read online that the batteries of the Dollar Tree are usually ones that didn't sell at other stores. We don't know how old they are. We don't know the quality of the battery or the brand. So from that point on, I just said, nope, I'm not going to buy batteries from there ever again. If you want any further information on that, you can actually search Dollar Tree batteries or Dollar Tree battery quality to get more information about where those batteries are coming from. As I'm getting older, the phrase quality over quantity is becoming more and more apparent in everyday life. And that brings me to number two. Number two on my list are knives and just cutlery and silverware in general. Yes, they can be very expensive, but I find the knives and utensils at the Dollar Tree, they're just dull, they're not good quality. So if you're trying to invest and keep a good set for a long time, I would say go try to find those elsewhere. If you're using plastic utensils for like a picnic or a certain event, that's completely fine. But I'm talking like the silverware in your house, the knives you cut your meat with when you're cooking for your family, those should be good quality. So I would not recommend getting them from the Dollar Tree. Can you be Greek and vegetarian? He don't eat no meat. No, he doesn't eat meat. What do you mean he don't eat no meat? Well, of course you can. And while I personally am not a vegetarian, I would never ever buy meat from the Dollar Tree. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. It just something about getting meat that cheap makes me very, very uncomfortable. So I've always made it a point to always get meat from the grocery store, preferably the deli, like behind the deli, so it's not packaged or processed. Oh, I just, I can't. If you can do that and you've successfully found good quality meat at the Dollar Tree, let me know down below. But if you haven't yet crossed that bridge, let me steer you to the other road of never buying meat from the Dollar Tree. Number four on the list is makeup, primarily foundations. In my experience of trying them out, I find they don't really have good coverage. They leave your skin feeling kind of chalky or even sticky at times, and they don't really do well with my pores. I always kind of break out when I use that cheap foundation. Again, if you're buying this for like a single event like Halloween or a party or something like that, sure, you can go with the cheap brand. But if you are trying to invest in good quality makeup you can wear each and every day, I would steer you to another place, even like the drugstore. It's not the Dollar Tree. You can find so many better options for your skin at the drugstore. Fun fact, all of this makeup is actually from the drugstore. I think it's CoverGirl Foundation and like L'Oreal mascara. It has worked just fine. I really am thinking about doing a drugstore finds kind of video. If you're interested in that, they would all be like under $10. Let me know if you want to see that down below. And number five would be candy. And it's not that I don't like candy. It's that the candy at the Dollar Tree is a little bit older because it was probably tried to be sold at another store before it found its way to the Dollar Tree. A lot of times I would try to buy gum or candy or chocolate from the Dollar Store and then it would just be stale and hard. It was just gross. So I said I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to risk having that experience of just like chomping down on cardboard like gum or candy. Just wasn't my thing. I did do a little bit of reading on what other people don't buy from the Dollar Tree and they were paper products and power tools. I actually never bought paper products from the Dollar Tree because I'll take coupons to the grocery store and I'll wait until they have like a 10 for 10 sale on paper towels and then take in like a 25 cent coupon, I'll double to 50. It just It's a whole process where I can get a lot more for a dollar at a grocery store than I can at the Dollar Tree. And I don't really purchase power tools. My dad got me like a power tool set that I've always kept in my house when I need it, so I've not had that experience. But people say that those tools at the Dollar Tree aren't good quality and they aren't lasting. So again, if you're looking to invest, quality over quantity. I had to think about that one again. 
So anyway, that is my list of things I would recommend not purchasing from the Dollar Tree. If you've had any personal experiences of your own and would like to share them, please put them down below in the comment section. If you enjoy these kind of things I buy or don't buy videos, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. And if you're new here, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Now I want to go to five below. <laughs>